actually. Is nobody gonna hurt you? Just me and the sorority sisters, I mean, you know, on this street, on this little street, that's it. Six years old and I've lived in Lexington probably about 50 years out of that. I did attend UK. Uh, I didn't get a degree from UK. I got my degrees elsewhere. I mean UK's always been a part of the life of people in Lexington. I mean it's the largest employer, probably the most money outside of horse farms. It feels good. Everybody's been pretty nice to me. I mean you know I get a lot of the young women walk by me and look at me and just there's that guy, you know. But she's wonderful. The dog's wonderful. They see her, and it's like, oh, he's okay. Look at the dog, you know. Uh, Sasha was a rescue dog. She was about a year and a half old. But she's, she's a great dog. She's a great companion. She's been my companion, my only real companion for the last 10 years. I haven't been bothered here. Nobody's tried to break in the house. Nobody's, uh, I don't think. We've got some homeless people living behind us in, a, in an old, kid's playhouse and he lets them stay there some food every now and then because hey they're homeless you know so what do you do you either help people out or you what call the cops on nah you know just for being homeless or just for being poor you know mm -hmm. uh got my friends mike and annalisa and his son and daughter his son and his son's girlfriend used to live here they lived here for a year or so and my neighbor mike is somebody i've known for about 40 years or so, played music with him most of that time. My neighbors behind me are that Campus Baptist group. I don't see them, uh, it's far enough away I don't see them, and then the rest of them are you guys, you know, the sororities and the fraternities that are around. I like seeing all you kids walk by. Uh, it kind of gives you the feeling of, you know, well, it either makes you feel very old or you feel more energy because of the people around you. And I try to take the energy because I already know how old I am, so I don't, you know, I don't need any reminders of that. This whole street behind us is, was Dixie Court, and there were the same type of houses up and down both sides of the court. Uh, Mike has lived in like three or four of them when he was going to school and everything. And we used to practice in one of the houses that was out over the hill. It was The kitchen was built off the back of the first story, which in the backyard was the second story. And it was on those pole jacks all the time. Uh, we'd have all, we had, at one time we had eight guys in the band playing. We'd get in the kitchen, sitting around drinking beer or whatever. And you could tell the house was like, would go like this, you know, and it would shake. So uh, they were all older homes, though, and they were plenty good enough for what we needed. My, my idea of college life was, I don't know if you've ever seen Animal House. National Lampoon, I guess he did it. Back in the, in the 70s, National Lampoon was the magazine for all us rebels, all the potheads, all the, you know, it was all the funny stuff in the world. Political humor, everything. And they put out a bunch of movies. But Animal House was right, it's about a fraternity. With lines like, they're gonna kick me out of school? Damn, I've wasted the last seven years, a year in college, you know. Uh, so it's a little different to actually see you guys with, you know, the frats and the fraternities and the, and the sororities and, and the dorms, which, gosh, you guys got a lot of dorms now. But then you go down here and turn to your left up off Woodland, 
and you've got all those huge dorms there. When my ex-wife was going here, there were two dorms. One was Donovan and her boys' dorm. And that's only been 35 years ago. You know, so you guys cannot imagine how much bigger the UK is now than it used to be. It's just amazing how much it's changed. It's amazing how many athletic fields. Football teams got, I know, two practice fields. The owner sent me a letter that he'd gotten from the government, from local government, saying if UK wins this game this week, you need to take everything off your porch, uh, make sure you don't have your trash out or anything, because they'll tear it all up. Nobody gave it a second look, and we did win that week, you know, so it was kind of stupid. And I don't know, when I was in college, I got much more upset when they lost, not when they won, you know, but that's either here. But nobody's, I haven't seen people that are, seem to be out with the intent of causing anybody else any problems. That could change, but that could change anyway. The guy that owns, his name is Mr. Canty, he's a farmer in Frankfurt, and it belonged to his parents. So, and this house was probably built a little after World War II. I would say right around that time, you know, late 40s, early 50s. Uh, and they've had it, I guess they, it might even have been his grandmother's house. If the house is older, it could have been his grandmother's house. You know? So I don't know. He doesn't want to sell it because it is a family property. Uh, there have been several professors that really want to buy it because I could live right there and walk across the street, go to the library, walk across another street and be in class. He doesn't want to sell it and I know UK wants the property. They've offered Mike, he said almost twice what it's, you know, assessed for. I'm sure they've offered this guy more. But Mike's lived there for 30 some years, and this guy, like I said, he's, it's been here for, who knows, 60 or 70 years. He wants to keep the place, they want him to sell it. I mean, they've already graded the next yard over to put in another sorority house or another dorm or something. You know, kind of like, come on, trying to move in. Plus, like I said before, this is the only, this house and that house are the only houses in the entire, if you look at a map of the decay, there's a red dot. It's the only place you can smoke a cigarette legally on UK's campus, you know. I thought maybe he wants to keep somebody here to kind of forestall UK from trying to get it condemned or something. I don't know that for a fact he's never said that or anything. That's kind of the idea of God of white might. Eventually, I think, as Mr. Candy gets older, he might be wanting to sell it. You know, when he gets up, uh, he's a bit younger than me. I'd say he's, he couldn't be much more than 45 to 50 years old. When he gets old enough that he can't take care of the farm and things, he might want to move back here if it's still here. But he might not. Uh, you know, he might want to get rid of it because he just doesn't want to fool with it anymore and needs the money to move to Florida or whatever. So I don't know what his intentions are as far as that goes. I don't know that he knows what his intentions are. 